There was a little bit of a controversy the other day. A little bit of a... <laughs> voice is that? I'm simple, <laughs> maybe. maybe a little bit of uh, uh, ruffle feathers. Uh, got a little protagonist. Oh, it's a new character. <laughs> new so, character. You guys might remember the other day there was a uh, news that came out that caused a little bit of a a little bit of a problem. So Sony announced that they were putting out a DVD Blu-ray box set of the Ghostbusters film. I think they call it Ghostbusters. The ultimate collection. It was going to be like eight discs and all this kind of stuff. However, somebody forgot. By the way, good to good on uh, Sup, uh, Supimix and uh, Flicka for getting the uh, the voice there um, in the live chat. You guys know what I was talking about. So <laughs> there was one little problem with this ultimate Ghostbusters box set. It left out one of the Ghostbusters movies. It left out the 2016 Ghostbusters. Now, 2016 Ghostbusters is not a movie I adore. Uh, I don't think it's as bad as some people make it out to be, but it's not a good movie, in my opinion. It's not good. And so they left it out. I'm sure probably a lot of fans of Ghostbusters were probably perfectly happy that they were leaving it out. Perfectly happy that they were leaving it out. Um, But Paul Feige took to Twitter... And basically did what you should never do. He aired the dirty laundry. Like, instead of just getting on the phone and calling somebody from over there at Sony to saying, hey, what's going on? He actually decided to make it public. And I, and I think this is a mistake, but whatever. He, he made it public instead of just getting on the phone and calling somebody like a real man should do. But whatever. He got on Twitter and decided to do the Festivus airing of the grievances. And he said, um, Sony, I know this must be a mistake. We do have a lot of fans, and Bill, Dan, and Ernie were in it, and uh, it won. Well, I almost forgot about this part, the most important part. It won the Kids' Choice Awards for Best Feature Film, everybody. <gasps> I know. The Kids' Choice Awards for Best Feature Film uh, the year it came out. Amazing. So I guess it was just an oversight, so he decided to make this public. Well, his little public temper tantrum, and by the way, <laughs> I, I actually really like Paul Feig. Like his movie, A Simple Favor. One of the most underrated films the last number of years. I really dig him as a director. I think he's very, very good. But he decided to make it public. Well, apparently it worked. Because now, oh, according God. to reports, Sony has decided oh, to add into the, the collection a code that will allow you to download a digital version of things. So they're not going to include a disc in it. They're not going to go back and say, shut down the presses. Let's redesign the boxes. Repackage let's pre- the eight. Let's, yeah, yes. let's repackage everything and all this kind of stuff. Let's, uh, no, they decide not to do that, but they are going to include a code okay. that says, okay, if, if you want this movie, you get a free digital download of it if you buy the box set. Now, look, I was okay that they didn't include this movie in the set yeah. because when you look at the other Ghostbusters movies, they are in one continuity. Sure. Yeah. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, Ghostbusters after. Because it's one story. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's it's one story. So there you go. Still, the other one is a Ghostbusters movie, and I'm perfectly looked. I was perfectly okay that they left it out. I am also perfectly okay that they included it in. I just don't like the fact that they're doing this at the behest of somebody throwing a temper tantrum on on Twitter. But I mean, hey, whatever. Is I know you did not like this move. You don't. You don't even think they should have put this in there, do you? No, <laughs> no, no. And I think the example I use is like how it was kind of, you know, a fa- the Wrightmans. It's, it was a father son legacy, and it's kind of like generations of a family doing something really cool and really meaningful and making a legacy. And then the neighbor across the street goes, "I want in." I want in on this and then makes his own whatever it is. And it's like, why didn't you include me? It's like, cause you weren't a part of it to begin with, bro. Right. But they are, but they are a cousin. They, they are a cousin. They're that cousin they're, they're related th- that rides into town on the Beverly Hillbillies truck and goes, <laughs> Hey y'all, what about me? You got room for me? Come on, baby. I want you to do the whole show in that voice, by the way. I absolutely <laughs> will. You got it, baby. Um, I mean, it, it's... So annoying. Yeah. I, so, uh, look, again, I had no problem that they left it out. I have no problem that they're putting back in. I mean, and by the way, it was it's no effort for them just to include a digital code. Sure. It's not like they had to go back to the drawing board and change everything up. So, um, I get it. 
and if, it's not going to make it cost anymore. That's the key. That was the key thing in the report. It's not like this new collection, this ultimate uh, Ghostbuster collection. It's not going to cost the fans anymore if they want to buy it. They're not going to add any additional cost to it. So, hey, look, if it was easy to include, it doesn't increase, increase the price. And look, since all film is subjective, there are fans of the 2016 Ghostbusters film. So I'm sure this is going to make them happy. And I'm if you're not a them. fan of it, and if you're not a fan of it, this isn't taking up any extra space on your shelf. Yeah, I'm one of them. <clears throat> I didn't dislike the 2016 version. I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan, so for me, I wasn't like, this is amazing. I'm a fan of it. I just, to bogart your way into this legacy, <laughs> to bogart your way it's into just it. Little iffy. <laughs> Little iffy. Anyway, guys, the Whatever. question is for you. What do you think about this? That Sony has decided to reverse course. They are not, not going to include any discs, but they are going to include a digital code that if you are a fan of the 2016 version, you can get it when you get the collection. Good move, bad move, indifferent. Whatever you guys are thinking about this, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.